It's the power to arouse curiosity. It's, 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 it's the power to arouse curiosity. Hi, my name is Daniel Davis. I am the creator of Tinkernut.com. And here's a little bit of background and some frequently asked questions. The purpose of the website Tinkernut.com is to show people how to do things. It's mainly for the do-it-yourselfer, but it's also a great way to uh, find out how to do different tips and make things easier on yourself. The website idea was kind of provoked by all the different do-it-yourself websites out there. There's some, some great ones that I uh, began looking into around 2005, like Makezine.com and lifehacker.com and uh, instructables.com and what intrigued me about these websites is that they laid out different steps or different tips to help you do things yourself or for cheaper or just uh, do things to make your life easier I just I love to learn I love to be I, I, I like to be able to be self-sufficient and self-sustaining and be able to do things myself and not really rely on anybody else. So uh, that's the whole reason why I was inspired to create this. The name Tinkernut.com actually uh, it it didn't come from me. It was it actually came from one of my friends. I uh, uh, this was when I was starting to come up with the idea of creating a website but I didn't yet know what format I was going to put it in or how I was going to present these tutorials and uh, me and one of my close friends we have a tendency to call each other weird names like uh, Poop Boot or Cradle Duck and one of them just happened to be Tinkernut and uh, while it was funny and it is a funny name it, it seemed to fit. It seemed to fit the website, you know, tinkering, uh, craziness, nuttiness, you know, things like that. So uh, I was like, you know what, that would be a great name for a website. So before the concept was even completely initialized, I had the name. So uh, the website, the logo, the design, all kind of revolved around that name. All of the videos, all the logo designs, all of the animation, different things like that I've created myself. Uh, given what I've already told you and why I created the website, uh, I, you can see why I wanted to do them myself because I like to learn different things and different trades. So uh, I created the video introduction using a combination of Blender, which is a free 3D uh, creation software, what I use to create. Uh, the, the acorn and then I also used wax 2.0 to do different layers for some of my earlier video introductions I used uh, flash to animate it and then I went on to free software uh, animator to create some of the later later video introductions and then another free software program called wax 2.0 to create the most recent video introduction that I've got I'll probably create some different ones later on, but all the videos are either recorded on my computer or using a video camera. And uh, I do all of myself, which is why you won't really see me in front of the camera, but more operating the camera uh, behind it, so you won't, you won't see me at all. That's probably the best question. Um, I don't really like uh, the concept of making people pay for knowledge. I think that knowledge should be freely given and uh, even if you do make people pay for knowledge they're most likely going to find ways around having to pay for it because uh, I, feel, I feel that it's unnecessary to have to, to pay to learn stuff, to pay to make yourself smarter. People can make themselves smarter using any medium it just depends on the motivation. Anyway uh, the best way to support Tinkernut.com is just to share the knowledge, share the videos, post the videos on different websites, you know, get, get the name out there, uh, get the knowledge out there, and uh, 
Another way to support is just by clicking the donate button and, and donating to Tinkernut.com. It's on the front page, I'll try to put it on every page, but uh, that's the best way to support if you feel inclined, which I hope you do.